Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to use Hoopla. Now for those of you who aren't familiar, Hoopla is a database that has ebooks, audiobooks, music, and videos on it. And the great thing about Hoopla is that everything you see is available now. There are no waiting lists and you don't have to worry about overdue fees because your item will return when its time is up. So to get to Hoopla, you'll go to our main website and go to eResources. And then you can really click on books, audiobooks, music, or videos to get there. So I'll just click on videos. Hoopla is this last link at the bottom. And with Hoopla, you get six downloads per month. So we'll click on it to open it up. Now when Hoopla opens up, you are going to create your own login. So if you're new to this, you'll have to hit get started today. And now you're just going to fill out your email and then you're going to create a password for yourself and then you'll hit agree. And then you will have a Hoopla account. I will also say Hoopla does have an app if you wanted to do this on your phone, on your tablet, or also if you wanted to watch movies on your smart TV, you can go to your app store and download Hoopla there as well. Now, once you log in, this is going to be your main screen and it's going to look pretty similar depending on if you're on a tablet, if you're on your smart TV, or if you're on your phone, it's going to look very similar to this. Now, once again, Hoopla has audiobooks, movies, music, graphic novels, ebooks, and TV shows. And you can get six titles per month. So let's start with audiobooks. So you can click on audiobooks to get started. They have different categories here. They have featured, recommended, popular. If you do have a particular genre of audiobooks that you wanted to listen to, you can click on categories here. And then these are all the categories that are available for you. So let's say I wanted to listen to a horror audiobook. So I just click there and it would show me all the horror that they have. Now to check out an item, it is the same regardless of what you're checking out. So you just click on the item that you want and you will hit borrow. If you click this heart, it will add it to your favorites. That way it'll be easier for you to go back and look through your favorite music or TV shows, things like that. So we'll click borrow. Now audiobooks check out for 21 days and this is the same with ebooks, but not everything's going to check out that long. But it'll tell you when you click borrow, it says it returns automatically on Monday, November 4th. So I have 21 days to start listening to it. And then if you hit play, it'll open up in your browser. If you are doing this on your phone or on a tablet, underneath the play, there will probably be a download button around here. And that way you can download it when you're on Wi-Fi so that you'll be able to listen while you are not connected to the internet. Also, we have a lot of patrons who like to download it and listen to it in your, their cars as they're commuting. So there is that option as well. But when you hit play, it opens up down Harper here. Harper Collins and Harper Audio present. And if you click up, you can go through. This will give you your chapters up here. You can also bookmark your favorite locations. You can set a timer. And you can also change the reading speed as well if it's a little too slow for you. And you can always return an item early if you'd like to by just hitting this return now button. And you're just going to follow the same checkout procedures for everything. So for movies, you click on what you want, you hit borrow. Movies, you get three days to check out and it'll tell you it'll return in three days. Movies, you cannot download on your device, it streams it. So if you are watching movies on this app, you are gonna need an internet connection. And then when you hit play, it's gonna open up in a different browser like this. 
And this is what it's going to be if you're watching this on a smart TV as well. And there are options down here if you wanted subtitles or if you wanted to change some different settings in the video player. Now ebooks and comics are going to look very similar, so we'll do one of those. I personally love looking at the comics on here. Now once again, you can always look through the categories for comics or you can also go up here to search if there is a specific comic that you really wanted to look up on. And then when you're ready, you can click on the title you want and hit borrow. And this just kind of gives you, if this pops up, it just gives you your options that are in the reading menu. So if you hit read, it'll open up in any device that you're looking at it on and then you can toggle through the screens and it should look just like a normal comic book that you're reading. And then when you're done, you might have to click on these three lines and hit exit reader. And this may look a bit different if you're also doing this on a Mac or an Apple product, but it, it shouldn't be too different. If you wanted to browse music, I will say that they have a lot of new titles available as well. And for music, you just click on the one you want, you hit borrow, you can click the heart if you wanna add it to your favorites. And music is available for seven days. And once again, there's gonna be a download button here if you wanted to download it to the device you're listening to it on. And if you hit play, it's gonna open up right down here in this player. Now, if you have kids, there is a kids option here on Hoopla. If you can click on to, now all this is going to be age appropriate. And right now we're on music, but once again, you can just browse through under the kids. The kids will have a check mark if you're only browsing it. So if you are an adult and you're only seeing kids titles, you might want to take a look at that and see if it's checkmarked. And to get out of it, you just have to click on it again, and then you'll be back to your main menu. Now, if you go to your Hoopla, you can look at currently borrowed, and this is everything that we borrowed today. And then you can just click on one to start listening or to start watching, and then you can always hit a return now button if you're done with it. Once again, it'll return on its own, so you don't have to really worry about returning it. And everything's available now, so it's not like it goes to the next person on a wait list because there are no wait lists on here. Now you can go to your favorites also. These are all the favorites that I personally have. And all you have to do to get this is to just click on an item and click that red heart there, and it'll add it to your favorites. And it'll split it up between, I have audiobooks, I have comics, movies, and music. So when you click on favorites, it's kind of nice that it'll categorize it for you. You can also go to your history. Now this is something you can clear your history if you, if you don't want to have that, or you can look at it if it interests you. Now, if you click on this gear, this is your settings. And this is the settings for your account. And this is where you can add a library. You can have recommendations if you like. You can customize Hoopla to better fit your interests. You can change your email and you can also change your password through here. So those are things in your settings if you ever needed to do that at some point. And then to log out, you can just click on the gear again and you hit log out right here. And that is it for Hoopla. It is very user friendly, very simple. If you have any issues with it, feel free to call us or to come into your local library and we are more than happy to help you figure it out.